All right, welcome everybody. Working on some gimbal adjustments. I think we're looking good. We'll see as we go here. Welcome. We're in uh, downtown Louisville. It's a cool Volvo station wagon. That's pretty sweet. We're going to explore for uh, at least an hour in downtown Louisville. We're starting out in New Lou. So we're on Hancock Street, and this is Market. And it's a beautiful, beautiful spring day. Bright blue sky. What's up, Paul? Welcome. Good to see you. Let's see, I think we'll head downtown. Go for a bit of a wander downtown and then we'll go check out the river and then come back to New Lou and find some dinner. Paul, I hope you're doing well. Welcome. It's good to see you, sir. Everybody who's joining, we're live in downtown Louisville, Kentucky. We're going to explore the city. It's been a while since we've walked in Louisville. So I thought we could uh, have a good time here today. Really big overpass here. Crazy big. That's a I-65 over our heads right now. And hopefully it doesn't block our signal too badly. Is right now uh, 55 degrees and sunny. You can see some uh, tanks over there for looks like a brewery. Pretty sure. Uh, never mind. That's Angel's Envy. That's a distillery. What's up, Joanne? I think we'll walk this way. Go down to the baseball stadium and we'll walk down Main Street. Wait for the light. Neil, welcome. Good to see everybody filtering in today. We are, hey, Key is here. Angel's Envy is a bourbon distillery right here. And then uh, straight ahead, Royal Stadium. And against the grain, a brewery. Like I said, couldn't be a prettier day. Not a cloud in the sky. Wow, Billy Goat Racing. 
that's news to me. Huh. Learn something new every day. Billy Goat Strut. Uh, I don't know if you can see in there. There's the production line for Angel's Envy Rye Bourbon Whiskey. Bottles coming down the line. Certainly smells good. There's a lot of distilleries in downtown Louisville. It's the uh, Urban Bourbon Trail. And very, very much worth a trip if you at all are interested in bourbon. I don't drink, but I appreciate the craft that goes into the product. And you can see these signs here, the kind of, as you're walking through, All of the distilleries are marked out for you. And they all have tasting rooms. They're pretty neat. So, Angel's Envy is this one. That's the baseball stadium. Looks like maybe some kind of event tonight. But I hope everybody's doing really well tonight. I'm doing great. That's uh, against the grain. There's a cool brewery there. And Louisville Slugger Field. Fully appropriate, right? To have a uh, baseball stadium in downtown Louisville, home of the Louisville Slugger Baseball Bat Factory. So I think we'll, the plan is to walk all the way down Main Street at least down to the Golden David statue and loop back down the waterfront. Check out the Ohio River and the waterfront park. Yeah, it is. It is a gorgeous day here. Very much enjoying it. There's a cool horse racing picture up top here. What's up, Brian? Welcome to the chat. Good to see you. Hope all is well. We are exploring a beautiful city, Louisville, Kentucky. And it's uh, 5.30, so people are clocking out and headed to the rest of their day. Hey, what's up, Roy? Good to see you. I've always thought this is a cool building here with this kind of domed top on it. Top on a very modern looking building. Very interesting. Very interesting contrast. You can see that's where we're gonna end up later, way down there, that bridge uh, in the waterfront park. So first we're gonna head all the way through downtown. There's uh, some new public art and cool murals too, downtown, which I really like to see. It's also derby season, so there's a lot going on in the city right now. They, they just had thunder over Louisville this past weekend, which is one of the biggest fireworks shows in the world. Um, so thunder over Louisville just happened. You can look that up on YouTube later and see a really cool fireworks show. Uh, but we've got about a month of festivities. Wow, that is huge. Um, but anyway, we've, there's about a month worth of 
festivities around the Kentucky Derby. There's the other side of that building. Comes up to a point there, it's neat. Um, but there's all kinds of stuff going on. There's a, a food festival, there's a marathon, there's a balloon race, there's all kinds of cool stuff. And then uh, capped off by the Kentucky Derby. The most exciting two minutes in sports. There's another cool building over here. I love the, the trees up on top of this one. A little forest up there. I always end up walking the wrong way. I should really walk with the sun at my back. But we'll do that, uh, we'll do that uh, when we walk down the riverfront. Ron, you're here. Hello, Ron, how are you? And Fairy Elephant also joining the chat. Pleasure to see you both. Yeah, weather is wonderful today. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, looks like we missed the light. Can we hold on for a second. up at this cool building. MM, howdy, what's up? Good to see you, good to see you. Good to see everybody. Thanks for joining today. We're just getting started. We're 10 minutes in and I'm gonna stream until my phone dies. I, I feel like a really long walk today. It was a long day at work. And so you guys are the beneficiaries as I walk off some steam. <laughs> No wait, wait, wait button to hit here. But we do have a bit of a wander logo every time we pass one of these walk signs. I love that. There's the logo, walking man. Uh, Roy, I like that. Howdy, howdy. I like this contrast here with this kind of empty building with the modern one behind it. Oh, Ron TV, you better not do that. You better not write in all caps. Howdy's gonna, he's gonna put you in timeout. <laughs> oh, hey, Audi, if you do exclamation point rules, you should be able to pull up the chat rules for everybody. That's a new thing I tried to set up and I think it's working. Uh, and here's a cool live music menu here. Probably a little early. Oh yeah, tonight, world famous Tuesday blues jam. Oh, misspelling. Rules, R-U-L-E-S, sorry about my accent. <laughs> Siri can't do my accent either. You should see how much, uh, how many times I have to re reuse Siri because she does not quite get it and I don't think I have an accent but then uh, when I listen to my voice back I realize that I do I do indeed have a southern twang what's up Damaris great to see you George you're not late you're right on time you're fashionably fashionably late we've got uh, some jockey statues up there it's very traditional Kentucky decoration And everybody, we're walking live down uh, Main Street in Louisville, Kentucky, through the uh, Bourbon District. Ah, Shelly and Anthony are here too. We got we got a big crew. We might break our live chat record tonight. It's a it's a nice time, and it's a really beautiful city. So this would be the place to do it for sure. I'm missing my wait, wait, wait button. Wait, wait, wait.
little bit windy today, but the temperature is pretty nice. There we go. I like this marquee right here. The Murphy Elevator Company. And then a massive building. It's like an entire city block. It's now a Humana property, the insurance company. <laughs> Kia, did Nightbot come down on you? I'm still trying to tweak the settings. And here in a little bit, I, somebody taught me the other day that I can set some of you up as uh, chat regulars and then Nightbot won't do anything to you. That is quite a large building. There you go, Audi. You got it. And there are the rules. So I, I at least figured that part out. Look at this new hotel right here. Distill. What's up, Jesse? Welcome, welcome. And yeah, that thing is massive. It, it used to be, if you can see the, the writing right here, it used to be the Belknap Hardware and Manufacturing Company. And now it's a Humana headquarters building. Um, but it is huge, really huge. Jesse, where are you from? You said you're from the Northeast. Where, where in the Northeast? And look at this. So this bench was commissioned by the city it's just really pretty. I like that a lot. Yeah, it's a really pretty building here, this new hotel. time. Yep, we can go. We've got this uh, really, really, New Jersey, okay. Thanks, Jesse. Um, we've got this really cool kind of facade here. And you can see part of the hotel falls behind this old facade of the street. I think that's fascinating. They kept the facade and preserved it. shopping zone here. Duluth Trading Company and another distillery, Old Forester. We've got a comedy club and a bourbon bar. Here's a good restaurant right here, the, the Whiskey Kitchen. There's a mint julep statue. Maybe this will be our thumbnail here.
All right, so now we are coming up on the KFC Yum Center, and this is where the uh, University of Louisville Cardinals play their basketball games and huge concert venue too. And there is actually a hidden gym restaurant right down this way. Um, let me see. Maybe I'll take you there on the way back, but it's the Troll Under the Bridge. And it's a cool little restaurant right down there under the bridge there. If you're ever in Louisville. I think we'll cross right here and head over and check out the Yum Center. And that bridge crosses the Ohio River into Indiana. Oh, maybe this is our thumbnail. Yeah, we're all about the KFC here. Howdy. KFC was invented here. You're welcome, everybody. We, we invented a lot of cool stuff. KFC and bourbon. <laughs> Not whiskey, but bourbon whiskey. Bluegrass music. We perfected horse racing. Some some countries may disagree. I don't think you can go in when there's not an event. But yeah, there's a big logo up there. This is a fountain, it's just not turned on right now. As a vegetarian, I don't eat the KFC, but recently they had Beyond Chicken at KFC and I ate that and it was delicious. Looks like the sun's about to go down behind this building and that'll help things out a little bit. We are apparently in the Pepsi Plaza. What do we have coming up? Sean Mendez? Anything else interesting? Looks like it's not changing. There it is. Nope. And we've got, you can go work for a pest control company. It's an expensive ad for a pest control company. Downtown. That's good. There's a theater over here, the Actors Theater, and we're at the Waterfront Plaza right now. Um, and there are office towers here, and then it also connects to a hotel. I always like that building with the kind of R2-D2 top on it. Oh, and uh, you can see over here, my favorite mural in downtown Louisville. They said it was from, they said it was from that. 
And this is a little water treatment station that they have done a mural around the, the whole entire thing. So I think that's pretty neat. So yeah, I really like that. And you can see the kind of the, the sparkly bits that they've done. It's, it's to represent kind of the, the wetlands of Kentucky. I like it. All right, this one right here is one of the one of the most famous hotels in downtown Louisville. There's two really famous ones. One of them is called the Galt House, and one of them is called the Brown Hotel. And the Brown Hotel, if you haven't been here, is where they invented the Kentucky Hot Brown, which is our most famous sandwich. It's an open-faced turkey sandwich with uh, gravy and cheddar cheese. <laughs> Isn't this neat? I love this mural. Oh, you're fine. No worries at all. Pretty neat. All right, let's go ahead and cross the street here. It is a pretty city. And this is a statue that is meant to represent the staves of a bourbon barrel. So this is, I guess, walking through a bourbon barrel. That is pretty. All right, let's keep walking. We're gonna walk far enough to see the, the Golden David and the Louisville Slugger Bat. And then we will loop back around. Oh, the fire trucks are down here. Huh. We'll come right back over here to this park after we go see the David and the Bat. It's called the Belvedere. It's a park up here. So we definitely will check that out. And here's the Opera House. Not as famous as some other Opera Houses in the world. But a lot of performing arts venues downtown. Another Humana building. 
think they are the largest employer in the city of Louisville. Or UPS is, I can't remember. We've been walking for about a half an hour. I think we'll at least do 90 minutes today. Maybe more. should be coming up in one more block on the giant Golden David statue, which is kind of a landmark downtown. Yeah, one more block. Here's the firefighters. We'll try not to get in their way. Joanne, yeah, there's a lot of great beer in Louisville still. Um, although a lot of the tourism dollars have gone towards uh, suburban for sure. trying to get into a building here with an alarm going off. Excitement. Somebody had to jump a fence just now. Hopefully it's just a false alarm. Another one of the Yeah, I think they know that it's just a false alarm, but they're trying to get in to turn it off. All right, are you guys ready to see some uh, golden nudity? <laughs> That's something I've never said in my life. We've got it coming right up. Boom. It is the giant David. I think to fully appreciate this, we have to go across the street. That is a heck of a limousine. Look at this thing. All right, we'll cross the street here. And then we will gaze upon the glory that is the giant Golden David. There you go, everybody. Get the sun shining off of him. Got the, the pink penguins up standing guard on top of the building too um, but that is uh, certainly quite a sight so everybody say hello to my friend David resplendent in the Sun cover your kids eyes but that is a four-story tall recreation of the David statue <laughs> Kia wants to know how long has that uh, been there 
and the answer is uh, since this hotel went in. So this hotel is called 21C and it's kind of a boutique hotel brand. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and they, they, their thing is they do an art gallery inside the hotel. So there is an art gallery inside the hotel and then they do public art um, that is a little bit extreme. Um, and they like to place that public art right in the middle of the city that they are in. So there's uh, quite a few 21C hotels. Jesse, who's a regular on the channel, uh, was asking me if I could go into a 21C hotel, but I don't think you're allowed to film inside the hotel. Um, but they're, they're really neat, they really are. And they're not that expensive. I mean, it's like 75 bucks more than staying at, say, a Marriott. Worth the money. Great restaurants, too. All right, we got one more giant statue to look at. Oh, and we get a crazy reveal here, too. You guys ready for a, a bit of a reveal? What's up, everybody? Hello, hello. Echo, echo. <laughs> there we go. Hi. There it is. I don't know if you can hear the weird echo, uh, but it sounds weird to my eyes, to my ears. There we go. All right, so we'll go down and see one more statue. You can see it up here on the horizon. That is a, about a seven story tall baseball bat. And it is resting against the side of the Louisville Slugger baseball bat factory, where every Louisville Slugger baseball bat in the world is actually made right here in this factory. And here's another distillery. Mixtures, Mixtures Distillery. Joanne says everybody gets their picture taken here. That's right. That is a big baseball bat. Tough to get it all in the frame. pretty neat though, isn't it? I wanted to make sure to show you guys the giant Louisville Slugger baseball bat. Pretty neat. All right, let's walk back down towards the riverfront. And if you, if you want to cover your eyes, we're going to walk past David again. But I recommend gazing intensely yeah it's definitely better walking away from the Sun get that blue sky popping and that late afternoon light on the buildings so cool the glorious sunlight bouncing off of David yeah fairy elephant the river does sound good let's go check out the riverfront um, we'll see the Belvedere first and then we'll walk down to Riverfront Park and it'll almost be sunset then I think. What time is it? Just after 6? Yeah. I think the sunset is at like 7.15 tonight. That is some bright vivid colors. I love it. Maybe I could use David as my thumbnail and put like an emoji over his private bits. Yeah, maybe this is the thumbnail of downtown Louisville. 
and I put a little emoji over David. <laughs> All right, everybody, take one last look. Goodbye, David. <laughs> it is it is cool that this city allows for public art like that and doesn't get so uptight over it. All right, we're gonna walk about three blocks to here down to the river. Perry Elephant says, can we zoom in on his head? Well, yes, we can do that. We can zoom in safely on David's face. There you go. Pretty statue, right? didn't see your comments in time. Hey, Leela's here. What's up, Leela? We're walking in Louisville. Fairy elephant, I think so too, right? I think everybody, when they first saw, like, okay, there's going to be a David without a fig leaf, let's say. Um, Everybody was a little worried about it, but it really is great public art. And how blue is the sky? Oh my Lord, that is good weather. The sky is bluer in Kentucky, everyone. We don't have the, we don't have the pollution. The sky, hey, hey. Quit watching the firefighters. Let them do their job. Quit gawking. Quit gawking. And you guys know who that is in that mural? Right here. That is Muhammad Ali, another great Kentuckian, uh, born and raised here in Louisville. You can still see his old house that he grew up in, and there's a great Muhammad Ali museum. That's right, George. That's right, Roy. You got it. He is the greatest. Another Muhammad Ali mural down here. I think that's the float like a butterfly, sting like a bee one. All right, I haven't had a chance to properly say hello and we've walked this path already, so let me flip this around. There we go. What's up everybody? Absolutely great to see you today. We're uh, exploring Louisville and having an absolute blast, but I just wanted to make sure to say hi. I'm not waving goodbye, I'm waving hello. I'm gonna flip it back around now. There we go. Neil, uh, it really is a great place. You, you can spend a good kind of four or five day weekend here. The parks are amazing. There's a lot to see in this area. The bourbon distilleries, the art museums, great food. I, and I'm not exaggerating, like this is a great food city. It's not like Chicago or Paris or London. 
Should I have included London? I don't know. We'll find out when I go to London. But it's not Chicago, it's not Paris, it's not Hong Kong, but it is really good. There's some great restaurants here. Alright, we're almost to the Belvedere. Oh, thank you so much. That was nice. All right, this is the Belvedere. So let's go check out the river from this park. We've got some electric bikes you can rent. Uh, Roy, uh, she said, uh, just identified the technology, but very kind. It's always neat when people go out of their way to compliment somebody for no reason. That's, that's Kentucky. There's the Galt House Hotel that we saw earlier. And this kind of park is, I believe, maintained by the city. And there's some shared responsibility with the Galt House too. And there's a parking garage under this park as well. Nice trellises here. Let's go walk under the trellises. And I think it's almost wisteria season for blooms. Yeah, here we go. We got some. They're not trailing all the way down right now yet, but you can see some of the blooms. Oh, you can't if I point it into the sun like that. And you can see some of the purple. It'll really start trailing down in another two weeks or so. And this is really pretty. bushes over there but I could be completely wrong about that one I am sure that those are wisteria vines though so very nice to walk along the Belvedere here and leads all the way over to the Opera House down that way George where's Ron I don't know Ron TV may had may have had to go take care of something hop on another stream. Speaking of hopping on a stream, let's take these stepping stones. You can't walk past stepping stones, right? So we will hop on a stream, on a stream, live for your pleasure. Boom, and now we're on stage. That is pretty. Yeah, Kia, I may uh, drop my selfie stick. So, pretty fun. And this fountain is not going full blast, but when it is, it's very pretty. It is a pretty city. All right, let's go look at the river. This cool statue here looking out across the river.
It's a Lewis and Clark statue named York. He was a member of the expedition that went all the way to the Pacific Ocean. Born a slave. Concerts and things from here. And this would have been a great place to watch Thunder over Louisville. We can't walk, I don't think, down to the waterfront from here. We'll go check out the staircase in a second. There's a General George Rogers Clark of Lewis and Clark fame. I don't see a Meriwether Lewis statue. So, okay. Sorry, Lewis. train going across the bridge over there. If you look under this bridge, that's where the falls of the Ohio are. And you can't go that way. It's not navigable. Um, but that's where there are a ton of fossil beds. And if you're interested in fossils, I did a walk about six months ago over at the for Falls of the Ohio, you'll see a fossil search that we went on, and we actually found a lot of fossils on that walk. It's pretty fun. You can see all the bridges that cross over the Ohio River here in Louisville. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six bridges, or five bridges. One of them's railroad, one of them's uh, I-64. No, this one down here is I-64 way down river. This is a railroad bridge. This one is I-65. And then there's a walking pedestrian bridge too. And I think we'll be able to, I think we'll have time and battery to walk over that pedestrian bridge today. I think. I think, I think. How about this guys? I think we can walk down to Waterfront Park from here. Let's try it. What's the worst that can happen? Dead end? We can live with that. Ah, uh, it's the Belle of Louisville. It's an old steamboat. The Mary M. Miller and the Belle of Louisville. Two different steamboats. Maybe that's the thumbnail. I don't know. Too many thumbnails competing for the priority. But it's nice to have access to the waterfront like this, isn't it? This is I-64 right here. Which runs all the way to St. Louis if you keep going behind us there. The Ohio River is really high right now, it looks like. A lot of rain lately. Uh, Ferry Elephant asks if these are paddle boat steamers. Yes, they are. They are still functional steamships. And you can see the the calliope horns right here on the back where they play the steam calliope still. Uh, the Belle of Louisville every year still, I believe, during the derby season gets in a race with another boat and they do a paddle boat race between bridges. It's kind of cool. Well, let's walk down and check it out. Proud old boat. You've got to be, Larry, you have got to be kidding. So everybody check out Larry's comment. 
So Larry's dad was a security guard on the Belle of Louisville. I've uh, ridden on the Belle of Louisville twice growing up. Class trips on this old boat was a thing. Larry, that's so awesome. I'm glad that you're able to see this stream. That's a cool job. Let's zoom this thing out. There we go. Belle of Louisville. And you can see all the decks, the, de the deck chairs, the wooden deck chairs up top and the smokestacks. Proud old boat. Love it. Larry, that is neat. Wow, what a coincidence. Here we've got the ticketing office. Old steamboats on the Ohio and Mississippi River, definitely a thing. A little steamboat era. I'll give you guys a second to read this. Pretty awesome. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep exploring. This is the backside of the Yum Center right here. Is it older than the Titanic? No, I don't think so. I, I, I seriously doubt that. I don't know for a fact, but I seriously doubt it. Oh, look at this little tugboat. The Kathy Ray. That's a cute boat too. Oh, Kia, you think it is older. I don't know, somebody's gonna have to Google it. All right, let's keep walking. We'll walk past Joe's Crab Shack down here. Not one of the great restaurants that I was telling you about earlier. <laughs> There's a uh, Southern Indiana across the, the river there. Oh, the Titanic was 1912, was it really? Wow. Uh, I got my timeline all screwed up. So yeah, I guess maybe the Bell of Louisville is older. Definitely the steamboats, the steamboat era that it was talking about on that sign was older. Wow. 1811, 1912, yeah, much older then. I would have pegged the Titanic in the 1800s. I don't know why. Interesting. Well, we have these magical devices in our pocket now that can give us the answers to everything in the entire universe just by asking. Or we can watch cat videos, which are hilarious. So, one or the other. All the collected knowledge of the entire 4,000, 10,000, 20,000 years of human civilization or cat videos. I vote for cat videos tonight, I think. It's been a long day. All right, everybody. It's time to get all our ducks in a row. Eh? Eh? Ducks in a row? Nope. <laughs> oh, she was built in 1914. Okay, so just after the Titanic then. That's a cool shot. Uh, right across the river is a town called Jeffersonville. And it's got a really cool downtown, some neat restaurants and breweries. Um, cool city. Now we're down to Waterfront Park, so this is great. It actually does connect, and I didn't think it did. That is cool looking. Yeah, Kia, I think you were looking at kind of when they were saying steamboats first arrived in Louisville versus the age of that particular boat. So I think you were right, too, about kind of what we were talking about history-wise. <laughs> yeah, the log 
Nest Monster. I'm trying to decide if when I go to Scotland, if I should go to see Loch Ness. I guess you kind of have to. It's pretty. I don't, I don't think there's a monster there. I could be wrong. If there was a monster, there would have to be a viable, like, breeding population of monsters, right? I don't know. You would think more people would see the monsters if there was a whole family of monsters that had been there since uh, dinosaurs. Ah, uh, check out the rubber ducky. If you are asking why there is a rubber ducky there, I believe that is a tip of the cap to the rubber ducky rally that they have, where they drop a, like a million rubber duckies into the river off one of these bridges. And then uh, they pick winners, I think. So it's interesting. But they get all those rubber duckies and pick them all back up again. I think that's what that's referring to. This is also near the finish line for the Louisville Derby, the Louisville, uh, excuse me, half marathon and marathon. Oh, did Urbanus do that? I missed that particular strain. whole area is kind of built to handle floods if it floods. You can see everything up on stilts. Everything's built well back so the, the river can go up, you know, 20 feet or so without flooding anything. Yeah, there's the stage for the music for the, I forget what the food festival is called, but it's like a Taste of Louisville kind of thing that happens down here. We're getting dangerously close to that record number of people in the chat. You guys let me know if we get 21 people chatting tonight. That'll be our record. We'll definitely get there eventually. The channel has been accelerating and growing. A couple of you are members as well. Um, that's a new feature we have. Thank you so much for those of you who have taken the plunge. I see Joanne and Kia are members. It's an easy way to support the channel. And all the dollars that I make on the channel, since this is not my job, all the dollars that I make on the channel go directly to reinvesting in the channel, making it better. And I don't think I can go any further this way. Huh, that's a predicament. And I don't feel like shimmying over this. Oh, hello ducks. Don't swim in that. Hey, Penelope's here. What's up, Penelope? So we can't go this way any further, so we're gonna have to double back and walk under the crab shack. Slight detour, but not too bad. Walking towards the sunset now. Ooh, and really windy. Penelope, we're walking on the waterfront in downtown Louisville. 
Over there is southern Indiana. Over here is a lot of wind. Can we go this way? Record. We can do it, everybody. We can do it. One more person joining the chat. Wake up your neighbors. Tell your friends. We're about to make history. 21. How cool is that? It just keeps growing, which means that we get to keep doing cool stuff. the record. That's pretty fun. Love that. Alright, so I think we go this way now. And we'll have to cut around the, the food fair. Yeah. So, that's not too big of a deal. We'll just walk around it. And we're over an hour on the stream tonight. So we'll at least get a 90 minute stream in. I hope you guys are enjoying walking around Louisville. I'm having fun walking with you for sure. It is a pretty day. Look at that, look at that blue sky. The trees are green now. There's the backside of that giant Humana building we were looking at earlier. You can see all the food trucks that are getting ready for the event. And a whole bunch of Coca-Cola trucks. Wonder if we can turn here. I think we have to keep going a little bit more and walk around. But walking around is what we do. Wonder what I should have for dinner tonight. I'm starting to get hungry. Get some tacos. That's my go-to. There's also a seafood restaurant near my hotel. Staying up here tonight in what's called a New Lou. That's where we'll walk to after we get done with the riverfront. New Lou, down Market Street, just to the uh, west of downtown. Hmm. All right, now we can turn left and head back towards the water. Good cell phone service here. Nice to have a steady stream with no buffering or interruptions, at least significant. So we'll walk down here to the pedestrian bridge and go up that. And then we'll go check out Nulu as well. Keep rolling until the phone dies. I'll give you guys notice at 20%, 10% battery. I didn't bring my backup because I started with a 100% charge. That usually gets the job done for a nice long wander. The Festival. I see what you did there, Festival. Sponsored by Kroger. Where do we keep? No, nope, still not yet. Uh, this is the entrance. Chow wagon. <laughs> There's the baseball stadium off to the right that we passed earlier. Cool little splash park.
<laughs> Roy says, dare you to run through the mountains. Uh, I don't want any blisters tonight, so we'll pass on that dare. Maybe another time. I actually don't. I was actually just wondering that myself. I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay, no, you're fine. Yep. She asked me if I knew. Oh, look at this. Fourth of July in 2100. They're going to open the time capsule. She was asking me if I knew when the food festival opened up. I wonder if it's today. It can't be today, right? It's got to be on the weekend. Maybe Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, I think they wanted to get into the festival. It doesn't quite look open though. If I were driving by or walking by, I would not take one look at this and say, I wonder when that opens. Oh, we did it guys. Boom, 10,000 steps. So that's good. 10,000 steps means that we just hit five miles today of walking. And I was sitting on my butt earlier at work, so you went on all these steps with me today. I think we'll get seven and a half miles in today. There's another person asking when it starts. Wow. Everybody wants to know when this thing starts. Does it start tonight? If I'd have known that, I would have taken you guys to the food festival. It doesn't look like it starts tonight, does it? <laughs> I do think it would be easier just to Google it, though, than stopping random strangers on the street and asking them if they know. So a long time ago in one of the first coffee shops that I ever worked at, uh, every day it was a daily occurrence. People would come in and ask for directions. How do you get to this? How do you get to that? Where, where's the interstate? How do you get to the interstate? Every day people would ask for directions. And then slowly over time, people stopped asking for directions because they had smartphones in their pocket. I have no idea if that's an interesting little story or if that was boring as anything, but it was something I noticed. All right, I think we can go this way now. It's pretty. It's a nice little section of walk. So we'll head down here to the riverfront again and check out the pedestrian bridge. I think you guys will get a kick out of it if you haven't seen it yet. I've walked here on the waterfront a couple of times. I really enjoy it down here and I think you will too. So another look at Louisville Slugger Field over there. They used to be the soccer stadium too, but the soccer team has built its own stadium now. Louisville FC, it's a really good team. We 
might miss the sunset, but we got golden hour. Which is more important, really, if we're being honest. Golden hour is more important than sunset hour. Penelope says, nice to see everything is nice and green again. I totally, totally agree. Simon, Simon, I see your comment. I totally, totally agree. Um, but if I say football in this stream, then I'm going to have to go through the explaining. Um, not football. I don't mean football. I mean soccer, not football. Yeah. But yes, you are correct. It is football. Uh, Simon, are, who, who is your side? Who do you support? Oh, this is so pretty. Walker Way? That's for us. That's for us. <laughs> so pretty. Uh, everybody, if you're new here and you haven't said hi yet, be sure to say hi. We've got a great community here and they'd love to meet you and I'd love to meet you too. I guess now Manchester United, all right. I am a Wolverhampton Wanderers supporter and uh, things were going so well there for a while. <laughs> so well, and then it kinda, the wheels came off. And, uh, and I miss Adama Traore, I can say that. <laughs> You're cracking me up. Yeah, somebody's got to be, right? And how can I not be a supporter of a team called the Wanderers? Nice playground. On TE's uh, depressing scale, the playgrounds, the, the sadness scale, that's a good one, I think. That's a nice playground. Underutilized. Not very many people there. Oh, look at the colors. 22 viewers. If we go to 25, I'm just going to have to jump in the Ohio River. I'm not going to do that. you looked up the festival. Okay, so it starts on Thursday. these uh these seats you can sit on and swing and relax and enjoy the river shall we Goslings. Ron is back. Ron, everybody was wondering where you went. 
Yeah, there's some goslings down here. I don't know if you guys can see. Right down here. They're past the adorable stage, though. They're in their awkward teenage years. They're growing some weird little mustaches. They're starting to smell. <laughs> 25, fairy elephant, it's time to jump in the river. 26, welcome everybody. It's great to have you here. If you are new here, please, please, please subscribe. We'd love to have you back. This is an exploration channel. We go all over the United States. We're going to England this summer. Come along with us. Rob in the chat, hello Rob, good to see you. We're shattering the record, everybody. She's just shattering it. We're smashing them like those sunglasses back there. All right. So the first bridge is the interstate. The second bridge is the pedestrian bridge, and that's the one we're gonna climb up and go over. Super excited about that. Go walk out halfway across the river. Check out the sunset from the river. Really excited to have everybody here for the walk. And uh, if you didn't catch it in the title, we're in Louisville, Kentucky. That's the Ohio River. And across the river is Southern Indiana. And it looks like we've got the whole park to ourselves tonight. We do have a couple of other uh, friends of the channel in the chat who have their own channels. Ron TV's got a channel. Roy's got a channel. Make sure you check out everybody in the community. We can all win together and have fun and continue making great friends. Oh, cute little puppy. TV. Hope you don't get a copyright claim. I hope I don't get a community violation strike for showing uh, the Golden David's business earlier. <laughs> ah, check out Audi's channel too, for sure. bridges are I-64. I, I keep saying I-64. I apologize. It's I-65. Interstate 65. And if you take it um, north, you will go to Indianapolis from here. I-64 goes to St. Louis. Fairy Elephant. Yes, I agree. It was art. They will not give me a strike for showing the David statue. up there is the pedestrian bridge and that's the one we're going to go up on and cross the river what a pretty evening and i do think these bridges are really pretty if can the YouTubers post the links to their pages. Yes, uh, so we don't do self-promotion, but when I invite channel regulars to share the links to their page, that's different. That's not spamming the chat. Um, so I have no problem if any of you regulars want to share your channel when we're talking about you. Look at how cool that is. I'll have to set up some kind of a nightbot command that I can share channel regulars. Um, 
and share their channel links. Roy, great stuff, good stuff, man. Uh, yes, uh, Ron says odd numbers are east and west. Uh, it is the other way around, actually. Odd numbers are north and south, and even numbers are east and west. And so, like, uh, I-65, which is this one, is going north across the river. See, that's west where the sun is setting. That's north, and that's I-65. So, 95, 65, 75, they're all going north-south. 40, 64, some of those really famous interstates are going east-west. That's cool, everybody is down here kind of hanging out, looking across the river, eating some, eating some food in their cars, hanging out. Let's go climb that bridge. We've got a Abraham Lincoln statue. It's called I Too Am a Kentuckian. Oh, Ron TV. Okay, great. I'll fix that. So I'll get it set up. Feel free to post a comment on the video. I will not delete it. And I'll get it set up so that we can uh, capture all you guys' channels and we can post them once per long live stream. Want to support my friends. Uh, so that yeah, we've seen a couple of great Kentuckians. We saw Muhammad Ali, it's Abraham Lincoln. We saw Colonel Sanders, <laughs> a real person, by the way. Rob, yeah, that's right. Sixty-five, 65 North goes to Indianapolis, and then you can keep on going up sixty-five North towards Chicago, and you can keep taking sixty-five South to Alabama. We have some kind of yoga going on over here. We have people bouncing on other people's heads and feet, and you'll see when we go by. <laughs> More of these cool swinging benches. Pretty neat. Oh, it looks like they have It's like tightrope walking. So it looks like they're out here doing all kinds of stuff. I've never tried a slack line. Yeah, Louisville is positioned in a really interesting place in the country. You can get to a lot of other really fantastic cities from here in uh, just a couple of hours. Not sure what those people were doing, but uh, they are more athletic than me. All right, so you can see this elevated walkway. We're gonna have to walk in a big circle to get up onto the bridge. But let's do it. Oh, there you go. Ron TV says you can just click on names. Ah, uh, Leela, have a wonderful evening. Thanks for coming. Glad you got to enjoy this walk with us. Take care of yourself. We'll see you next time. There's a stage, they're doing some kind of performance here as well. All kinds of stuff for the Derby. Pretty neat. All right, I think we go around this way and there's a staircase if I remember correctly. Really interesting and great contrast to the blue sky, too.
All right, so let's get up on this bridge and check out the Ohio River. Maybe we'll see a boat go under us. And we just hit 12,000 steps. That's our step count check. And it is around about 52 degrees now. Skateboarding youths. Look out, everybody, it's youths. How about this blue sky fairy elephant? Ooh, a little chilly over here in the shade. All right, here we go stairs and onto the bridge. Always good to climb some stairs after a six mile walk. Now, a long hill climb. Let's do it. 90 minute walk so far guys. Can we get a two hour stream? I think so. We might get 30 people in the live chat. It's cool how it loops around, isn't it? Pardon me if I get winded heading uphill. says are the bridges walkable only this one it's an old railroad bridge and the city converted it and now it's pedestrian only isn't that neat so you can bike on this bridge and you can scooter and you can walk but no motorized vehicles on this bridge george says did i walk this yeah uh <laughs> back when uh it was just a few of us on the channel, George. But yeah, we walked this bridge. It was one of the very first live streams I ever did. It was on a lunch break. And we walked all the way to the other side. I think we'll do halfway today. Good memory. Really good memory, George. Uh, Roy, we'll see you soon. adventure truck can uh, fit on this bridge. That's a big no. That is a big no. George, that was when I very first figured out how to live stream. Bye, Roy. We'll see you next time, man. Thank you so much for joining us. We're almost to the top. And we can see the soccer, the, oh, I'm gonna get in trouble. The football stadium, <laughs> which is the soccer stadium up here for Louisville FC. There it is over there in the distance, right across the interstate. And we are almost here. Eighteen thousand steps. We're going back over to that church. Our hotel is over in that direction. So we will be pooped. We could do a scooter. I need to figure out some kind of scooter gimbal rig. Because that would have to stop the stream. Here we are, up top. Let's get on this bridge. We'll 
walk halfway across. So we're in the middle of the river. It's called the Big Four Bridge. Lots of people out and about enjoying it for sure. Ron, yeah, I've got to figure out how a, how action kid does that. He's got the he's got the setup for sure. Sorry about the wind, but let's check out this view of the city of Louisville. How about that? One of the best views of Louisville, I think. halfway but I think this is as far as we're gonna go so that I don't run out of battery because I want to walk back towards New Lou where the hotel is. I'll bring you guys with me try and get a two-hour stream in. So yeah a really pretty sunset skyline view. transportation in Louisville? Well, uh, I think it depends what you're comparing it to. If you're comparing it to a city like uh, Tokyo, New York, or even Chicago, uh, it, it, it's not as good because there's no subway and there's no light rail. And so without the option of a subway or uh, light rail of any kind, then uh, there's something missing from the infrastructure of public transportation, I think. And so it's a car-centric city, like most Midwestern and Southeastern cities are. There is a really dependable and good um, bus system, but it's just not the same, I think, as, you know, having real light rail or real subway, real elevated train. I guess that's my answer is it's better than some cities around here public transportation wise but it's not great and yeah you can see it's it's car centric it's getting better in terms of being bike friendly but it's still a very car centric city and there's a lot of sprawl and that comes with you know car centric cities as well
she said two miles. We got her beat. We got seven and a half miles. How about that? <laughs> but to their credit, they're running. Not too shabby, right? As long as I don't pan down to the row of porta potties. We can cut it like this, and then it's gorgeous. Ron TV says, won't see Urbanist here. I think it's still accessible. Uh, but no, it's not a super pedestrian friendly. I mean, we walked for quite a while today and no big issues. Um, but yeah, it could be, it could be less car centric. And I think it will be over time. I think a, a lot of major American cities are going to become less and less car centric over time. But it's just the, the explosion of the U.S. population just lined up so well with the invention of the automobile. It was a perfect storm. Wow, so nice. Hey, what's up? Kareem is here. So good to see you. We are uh, an hour and 45 minutes into the live stream tonight. We've been exploring the beautiful city of Louisville, Kentucky. Downtown, the waterfront. Now we're heading over to what's called New Lou. It's a fast developing part of the city with tons of restaurants and art. And, uh, hotels. It's, it's a funky, funky part of town and I like it a lot. That's where I'm staying tonight. Uh, Karina, we broke our record tonight for the most people ever on a live stream. People watching at the same time. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, Audi's been here the whole entire time, modding it up. Kia, you had rollerblades when you were a kid? I never did. I had roller skates, but I didn't have rollerblades. You can see right down. Waterfront. That's kind of neat. Blue sky. Nothing but blue sky. I think I've earned a big dinner tonight. Burned all the calories. That's where we were, right up there, just a second ago. All right, now we got to figure out the easiest way to get back to Nulu from here. I think we go through a little neighborhood up here under this bridge. But the odds of us getting lost are pretty high. So, George, I know you're a fan of me getting lost, so. Hang on tight. Hold my root beer. Karina's got some blue sky in Oklahoma. 
Karina, the other day, you will not believe this. Somebody asked me if I could go to Oklahoma for work. And I said, uh, if you pay for me to fly to Oklahoma and put me up in a hotel, I will go because I would love to walk and so I'll let you know, I'll send you a note, and I'll let you know if that happens, if that comes to be. But there is an outside chance that uh, work might call on me to head to Oklahoma. So, I'm trying to make it happen. TV that's right it's wandering right that's what we're doing we're just wandering around seeing what's up looks like there's a little barbecue truck under the bridge I didn't know about that Ooh, right Big Moe's Barbecue. Ooh, it is bright. Sorry about that, everybody. We'll hang a left here and get some blue sky back. Oh, here's a cool statue. Looks like a bike rack that's been commissioned. It's kind of neat. It's the Log Ness Monster. Come across? Yeah, why not? It's a flock of scooters. We'll try not to disturb them. <laughs> that is a lot of scooters. Goodness. So unnecessary. Uh, 26 people in the live chat right now. Welcome. Make sure you say hi if you haven't yet. We'd love to meet you. Karina, if if they do call on me, they're gonna, it'll be in Oklahoma City. Unnecessarily loud car. And I've never been to Oklahoma City, so I hope they, I hope they ask me to. Then get your neighbor to grill me a hot dog. <laughs> So where do we go from here? That's the soccer stadium over there. That looks like a dead end. Let's just keep going this way. Hmm. Everybody's revving their cars. Goodness, be quiet everybody. Okay, this looks like we're headed in the right direction. There's a pollinator habitat zone. Uh, I've never heard of such a thing. But you can see there's little flowers up there. That's cool. Yeah, we're headed in the right direction. Because I saw this grain tower earlier. Yeah, that's a big grain elevator. 
and we're gonna go up past this and into Nulu and find some food. Ah, oh, you're 200 miles, okay. Sorry, Karina, but at least I'll get to show off your beautiful state if they do let me go. We'll see. It's not a certain thing. But I do like it when work pays the bills for travel. That lines up nicely. Hello. Oh, there's a skate park up here. That's kind of cool. Let's go check that out for sure. And there's people playing in it. Playing in it? Riding in it? What do you say with a skate park? What do the kids do with the skate park? Do they shred? Let's go find some rowdy youths and ask them if they have shredding. <laughs> Fairy elephant says they fall. That's probably actually accurate. They probably do fall. <laughs> they scrape their knees. skate park too. I like the graffiti. Hmm. I wonder if I go to the right or left of the skate park. I think I'll go to the right but I'm not 100% sure which is the right way to go. When you guys have to decide between right and left, do you have a default setting? Like that when in doubt, you always pick one direction? I tend to pick right. I also saw not too long ago, an article that said that it was something like 75% of people dislike odd numbers so much that like they won't leave their TV volume set to an odd number like if you click it to 13 you're gonna click it to 14 just because you can't stand odd numbers and when I thought about it I think I do that very poetic of you fairy elephant all right let's go check this thing out We'll file this one under bad ideas. Let's go check out the skate park under the overpass. Oh, there is somebody taking a baby stroller. I don't think that's what that's for. <laughs> that's hilarious. This is neat, right? Yeah, I like this. We'll head up this way next to it. Say hello to some youths. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. Pipe over there. That's uh, pretty aggressive. Oh, she 
you stayed up. This is cool. Oh, look at the dude doing the half pipe over there. This is a fun, oh, it's never good to see a board just going by on its own. It's a fun addition to the live stream, right? This dude's gonna do the half pipe again, I think. as you would say, it uh, smells like oregano over here. Pretty neat though, right? Audi with a throwback to walks in Wall Street's riding the boards before he was dropping financial wisdom on all of us. All right, let's keep walking. This is totally cool. We're finding all kinds of fun stuff. I think there used to be like an ax throwing place in this building. Yeah. I threw axes here one time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm right. Flying axes. Yeah. Which is a totally fun thing to do. Thomas Edison house. Did Thomas Edison live here? I feel like no. That must just be a name for a place. Oh, you guys, we just hit two hours. That's awesome. I love that two hour live stream. Hmm, what street is this? I think this is a barbecue restaurant. <laughs> what street is this? Main Street. Oh. Okay, that'll work. You guys want to go sit down in a chair for a second? Check out this chair over here.
All right, we're we're sitting in a big oversized chair. <laughs> Love it. The only problem is I don't know how to get out of the chair. Ugh. Oy. There we go. <laughs> All right, we've got the International Tap House here. We've got Goodwood Brewing over here. I'm starting to get hungry. Let's go up one more block and I think that's Market Street. Goodwood is closed on Tuesday. Okay. Interesting choice, Goodwood. Ring bell for service. No. I think there's a really cool looking Mexican restaurant up here that I've always wanted to go to. Oh, look, it's spent grains from the brewing process. That's interesting. I don't know where it is. It's right up here somewhere. There's a cool, big yellow Mexican restaurant that I've always wanted to try. And that might be the perfect dinner for tonight. Some kind of restaurant right over here. How's it going? I'm like, you guys. All right, let's see if we can figure out where this thing is. Garage bar over here is a really cool place. It looks closed tonight too. That place right over here, garage bar. This place looks cool too, Red Tree. I don't know anything about that place. Definitely closed though. I guess Tuesday, not a big deal down here. I'll know it when I see it. You'll know it when you see it. It's a big giant yellow Mexican restaurant. Oh, I see it. It's right up here. We'll see if it's open. If it's not open either, then I guess I just picked the wrong day to come down here. Look at that. What do you think, Karina? Bodakita de Mima. La Bodeguita. All right, it looks open and it looks like dinner. Two hours and five minutes and 15,500 steps, eight miles of walking. All right, you guys, hope you had a really fun night tonight. I loved walking with you. Thank you so, so much. I uh, really appreciate it. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. And there's all kinds of walks that we're going to do in the future, just like this one. So um, I am going to go right over there, have some dinner. Um, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful evening. So thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.